What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor, SafeNBAMT.com. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout and stop getting scammed by NBA 2K's pack odds. Hit them up right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we are going over the market, we're going over investments, what you guys should sell, what you guys should buy, all in this one video. And yes, if you are new to the channel, sub it up, comment down below. It would be appreciated. Also, guys, if you're interested in any type of trading cards, basketball, football, we are selling some. We're breaking some out on my Instagram live, maybe to later tonight. Um, left we have optic football and some Don Rosellos. We don't have that much left. We sold all our prism yesterday. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it, guys. Um, we're here to go over the market. And also, if you guys need MT, hit me up. I am buying and selling MC on both Xbox and PS4. Alright, so uh, let's go over the market. Um, Kareem Abdulli Jabari is up there, man. He's still up there in value, guys. Um, I still have my Kareem. Right now, the market is up there. It's definitely, definitely up there. We're gonna go over the Opals though. Um, I'm honestly pretty interested to see what's going on in the Opals. All right. Um, looks like the market is definitely rising. As you guys can see, Paul Pierce is definitely up there. Look at Giannis sitting over 400K still. That's beautiful. I'd love to see that. Um, let's see if some Opals went up or they stayed the same. And look at that. So the Opals went up a ton. Um, you no longer see or see Pierce and or Iggy over here, which is pretty interesting. So they were out, they were at like low 60s, high 60s. Which is pretty crazy, man. So, wow, this guy put a Kobe show on Andrew Bogut. Sheesh. But, um, um, yeah. Um, right now, what should you guys be doing? Well, honestly, I think this filter right here that I'm showing you is pretty solid. Definitely slept on. Um, supposedly, also, if you are sniping, I recommend going on current gen. I'm on next gen right now. For some reason, my current gen was not working. I literally could not get on current gen 2K. I don't know why, but yo. Right now, what am I doing? What am I doing? Right now, I think it's probably your best bet to sell. But then again, this week, I think Friday, they're probably not going to have anything crazy. So if you want to wait even a little bit longer, it's not a bad time to wait, but it, it, it's it's risky. So me personally, I'm probably selling most of my investments today, uh, especially my Amethyst investments. I actually ended up buying Pippin for around 70 something K. He's at 90 K right now. So overall man i think my investments were absolutely amazing um if you guys did invest in malik Sealy and lamar odom they're up a ton as well um uh, malik Sealy was just an amazing buy in my opinion so malik Sealy is at like 17 ish 18 ish k which is a massive w he's at 16 15 9 like 15 8 15 4 14 2 that's actually a pretty good price i might have to buy that um, but I say in two more days, man, this card is going to be up to 16, 17. No problem. We got these cards for 9K. Um, so in my opinion, man, all these investments that we have done, Lamar Odoms, Malik Sealy's, all of that, man, we made a lot of MC, um, a lot of MC. So what you guys should be doing right now, consistently check all the amethysts that you have bought and see what you could sell them for because they're honestly most of them are going up wow i didn't even realize how many malik Sealy's and all odoms we had give me one more all right yeah, we also have two in our collection so these are some of my investments i did sell a couple malik Sealy's for around 15 got them for 9 to 10k uh, lamar odoms got them for 30 35k man amazing amounts of mt made guys literally amazing amounts of mt made um we've been on an absolute tear as of recently with the investments i mean lamar odom i got him for 32k the man's at what 48 oh there's one for 41 i could probably buy that he doesn't have an extra haul i would want to buy that but it is a little bit risky because if he doesn't sell for 49 then you get screwed on reduction um but i don't know that's a pretty good price if you do see a lamar odom for that price it's not a bad idea to buy it i want to buy it so bad but guys let's go over the amethyst filter still the amethyst filter super super inflate not inflated deflated right now super crashed jason richardson you cannot go wrong with j rich investing in j rich is key uh i mean just compare his stats to wade man just compare the stats to wade low-key close the defense definitely isn't the best but obviously he's gonna dunk on everybody he's obviously got pretty good speed and he is taller than wade can't play point guard though but yo trust me j rich is definitely an investment you want to go i think he's only gonna go up 
um he's literally a startable amethyst with amazing shooting attributes and amazing dunking animation so jay rich is definitely one of the players you want to focus on any amethyst for under 1200 is what you want to buy um right now the market is definitely deflated but then again cards i do not recommend buying is the double take cards those packs are super super easy to get i highly 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 recommend you do just stay away from double take cards double take cards are literally the downfall you do not want to buy these cards they are just going to continue to drop but anything else other than double take i will definitely recommend buying um also i want to go over dominique wilkins because i know you guys are doing some xp at least i think uh dominique wilkins at 155 he's probably like a 170 car guys probably try to stay away from dominique wilkins he's just not a good player in my opinion he's just not good enough in my opinion for the price of one i, I can't i can never start a dominique wilkins on my team um i literally think my Dwayne wade is better even on paper he's not I i'm telling you right now this dominique is just not it he's not worth the price you will probably see this guy in a buyout within i don't know uh he's gonna be a buyout like the other dominique man pink diamond dominique took about a month to go to a buyout he's just not a good card i just I, I just really think this card is just not a good card you should stay away from it um dark matter wise man should you sell your t-mac i've been hearing a lot should i sell my kareem should i sell my t-mac me personally i don't see any of these cards dropping in value i don't see tracy or kareem dropping in value for a couple months um we're talking about 99 overalls that are absolutely juiced only way only reason why i know there's gonna be another kareem in the future is because he doesn't have all 99 there's gonna be a goat kareem there's gonna be a goat t-mac that's why they released these dark matters early um they released these up march what 20th march 21st whatever um so they released these kind of early and it's because they're obviously going to drop goaded cards they're going to drop goat cards this is only radioactive this is a set they literally released leap year t-mac around leap year um was it late february so these cards are nothing same with this mj this mj is insane obviously but they, he's not all 99 he's not he pretty much is all 99 but they're going to release a goat mj as well we're going to see goat cards they're probably going to call something else but yeah right now should you sell any of your dark matters man if you have kareem t-mac or mj their prices aren't going to go up and down they're going to stay here for a while um only other dark matter cards they could drop obviously they have to drop another Giannis. they have to drop a lebron but right now kareem and t-mac they're pretty safe they're probably the best cards in the game same with Giannis. if you want to hold your Giannis, Giannis is the best small forward in the game hands down he does lack a tiny bit of a three-point shot but he doesn't he is an 85 three definitely lacks a little bit a tiny tiny bit but if you have kareem and, and Giannis in the lanes you're never losing bro it's literally impossible to lose with kareem and Giannis in the lanes so right now what should you be doing i say sniping amethyst and also pink diamond she was filtered that's how you're gonna make mt um right now selling your cards is also a great idea i just say you could sell all your cards besides dark matter i, I don't think dark matter is gonna go down for now then again you could wait a little longer but my personal opinion right now I'm waiting. I, I kind of want to wait. I'm selling some things. I'm selling some Amethyst. I'm gonna sell one Lamar Odom. I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell two Malik Sealys for around 15. I'm gonna sell my Pippin just to be safe because Pippin has a chance of going down. I think honestly any Opal right now has a chance of going down. Opals are definitely that market that's gonna keep crashing and crashing and crashing. And whenever you see an uptick in Opals, is probably the chance you want to sell them. So. Yeah, that's all we got for the video. I'm just trying to spit some facts on the market. If any of you guys have any questions, let me know. We are going to end this video with a nice pack of Rooney, and we are going to pull a nice dark matter. So here we go, and nothing. All right, at least we got an out with this. All right, I'll take it. But uh, yeah, that is all we got for the video, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one. Peace.